Stroll down the mist-drenched sidewalks of Palm Springs with a CBC logo on your microphone. Well, it takes less than a minute before a Canadian stops you to complain about the loonie. No, that was only five years ago. We were at about a buck six or a buck ten. The good old days when the loonie floated regally above par. Now with her savings hovering around a six-year low, Irene Henderson is a currency ostrich. I don't like to think about it. I just pretend it's a normal dollar. You're in denial. <laughs> I'm in denial. It's there. It's real. It's money on top of money that you got to pay. Every year, they hold a Canadian festival here and order Tim Horton's coffee just for the occasion. Every year, it sells out, except this year. Palm Springs event promoter Betty King says the local economy practically runs on Canadian spending. So when the loony slides, the city slides with it. And if it was for the Canadians, we would be on Noah's Ark. <laughs> Also adrift, housing market. There for the showing at 12.30. A loony on Jeff Miller's desk because 80% of the real estate agent's clients are Canadian. A couple of years ago, he says snowbirds were buying up the town. Now? They're telling me they're on hold right now and they're going to watch what, what, what the loony does. But there's a new twist. A few of his clients who bought low are now selling high. I think it's better meat from Canada. <laughs> Alan Wood bought this home seven years ago when the dollar was a par and living here was cheap. But now, if you add the dollar, the 20, 25% on top, you, you know, it, it gets kind of crazy. So rather than complain about his hand, he decided to cash out and sell. As a matter of fact, today, uh, we signed the deal. Then well, moved back to Edmonton no and converted all into Canadian dollars. Oh. With the way the dollar went, what the heck? <laughs> no more 30 degree Perfect. spring breaks at Grandpa's, but on the bright side, he'll so probably have about 20% more money with which to spoil them. Hey. <laughs> Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Palm Springs. <laughs>